be teaching you about prime factorization. For instance, fifty-six. Well, what equals fifty-six? Well, for surely seven times eight does, right, guys? Yes. Yeah. Good job. I think. Now, guys, what would it go into? Now, uh, you'd have to take down seven and. Put the 7 down once more, then you'd have to do 2 times 4 on 8. Mm -hmm. Is it right? Yep. And we just lost contact. <laughs> okay. So, then you'd go 7 times 4 times 2. Am I right, guys? Correct. Sure? Yes. Okay. 28 plus... 28. Does this make sense, guys? Yeah. 6. You guys are right. See? So, it equals out to that. But wait, you can put it down once more. Exactly. So? It'd be... Okay, 7 and 1 can only go into 7, so you bring... You keep the 7 the same. Exactly. And, and 2 and 1... Twos. Put down 3 twos. 2 can go into itself, so you leave that, too. But, you have to times it by three. And then what goes into four? Two and two. two. So you put so two, two more twos down. Two. Correct. That and is that's your all the farther we it can go. Cause yep. Because you cannot go on it. So, so that's your answer. Seven times two times two times two. And look at how it comes up. Always in this. It's like a it pyramid. It starts with 56. Seven times eight. 7 times 4 times 2, and 7 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, we'll show you a few more problems. What do you want us to do? About 54. Or do you want to do 48? Seems like a good one. Good job, G cameraman. So what goes well, into 48? Wait, 6 times 8? Yes. 6 times 8. eight. 6 times 8 is 48. So you are right. Yep. Then you can reduce that by doing 2 times 6 and 2 times two ta Okay, so 2 and two times 3. Sorry. 2, two times and three. 3 goes into 6. So 2, two times, times 3. three and, and 2, two and times two 4. Because four, 2, cause two, two and 4 goes into 8. See that? And that's and 2 and 3 two goes into 6. And, and that's you all. Can, no, 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 no. You can take it down from the 2 yeah, and the 4. Yeah, you leave the 2 and the three, 2. And three. But you can, and you leave that too, but you can do the 4. So 2 times yeah. 3. Times, times four. Two, two, times two, two times two times two. 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 So now check it. So two times three is six. Six times two is twelve. Twelve times two is twenty-four. Twenty-four times two is thirty. Wait. I think we got Twenty-four. And twenty-four times two is? 48. 48. So actually, we, we are, are correct. correct. So we'll do one more. One more. What do you want to do, guys? Uh, I don't 24. know. 24. Nah, yeah, fine, 24. 24. Well, then you can take that by 2 times 12. Yep. There's, There's a bunch of ways you can do 24. You can do 6 times 4. You can do eight a bunch times of ways three. on any ones. And 12 times 2. 12 so, times 2, and then you can reduce So we're going to do the 12 times 2. So, you leave the 2 the same, and, and you can... And then you divide, or then you do uh, 6 times 2 times 2. And, and you, can, you can still do the 2... No, no, you six, have to do 6. six. Yeah. Leave the you can't do the 2s, but you can do the same. How do you... How do you figure that out, Nathan? Well, if like, if it can only hey, itself... Hey, I asked Nathan. Hey, wait. You can't say your name on these. Just go. Okay. So, you cannot take anything lower than two, but you can take lower than six. Which would be three. How do you, how do you figure that out, though? Well, it would be three. 
Only itself and two can go into two. Only one exactly. and two. Exactly. So. Good explanation. So six Thank you, Cole. times no. two, two times, times, times three, three times, times two times two. two. And that is correct. Exactly. Good job, Spencer. So here we go. 24 to 12 times two to six times two times two to two times three times two times two. That's it for us today in Prime Factorization.